is not what you know, it's what you can prove. Shalom everyone, it's your boy G Dash the Prophet. I am back with a new exclusive TV show breakdown. This one is called Them, Us. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm gonna do like I usually do. I'm gonna share two examples and if you like it, you can check out the rest. So, let's get it. Excuse me, but what is this? Oh, that's nothing to be concerned about. No persons of Negro blood? So now, when the Emery family finally make it to Compton, to their new house, and they're basically going over this contract or this lease agreement, okay, it talks about no Negro blood or heritage shall occupy the premises. So it's like, hmm, okay. These things were going on, okay, because they didn't want us among them. But here's the interesting thing that she said. It's like I told you, Mr. Emery. Covenants are no longer legally enforceable. You knew. She said covenants are no longer legally enforceable. Covenants? She used the word covenants are no longer legally enforceable? Wow, interesting. Don't we have a covenant? Then she says, Doesn't mean enough not to tell me. A little red ink and those words disappear. With a little red ink, those words disappear. Interesting. Now, the funny thing is, when it comes to the Bible and Christianity, Jesus' words are, in red ink. And that's the same thing that has happened to our covenant. Those words in red ink has made our covenant no longer legally enforceable. Covenants are no longer legally enforceable. A little red ink and those words disappear. You see that? Jesus' words are in red ink, right? Everyone is following what Jesus is saying, right? Not following the covenant anymore, right? I'll give you an example. In our covenant, Exodus chapter 21, verses 22 to 24, it talks about when men strive and when men fight and a woman that's in the midst, okay, who's pregnant and her baby is killed, okay, and no mischief follows. Basically, the judgment would be, you know, if any mischief follows, then thou shalt give life for life, Eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot. So that's our covenant, basically. Okay, if something happens, when men fight and a woman get hurt, there should be some sort of repercussion behind that, okay? Life for life, foot for foot, tooth for tooth. That's the father. That's the, how the father gets down. But when it comes to this Jesus character in this New Testament and his words that are in red ink, a little red ink and those words disappear. This is what he has to say about this situation or this covenant with his red ink. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 38 to 39, dealing with the same situation, okay, he says, You have heard that it has been said, eye for eye and tooth for tooth. Now that goes back to the covenant that we just read about, right? That covenant, that's where he's getting it. But notice he's saying, you have heard. He doesn't say, oh, thus saith Yah, or as it is written. He just says, as you have heard, like it's a, uh, some saying on the street corner, right? Then he says, but I say unto you, but I say unto you, now he's changing it, right? That you resist not evil. Don't resist the evil, okay? Let it come upon you. But whosoever shall smite you, hit you on the right cheek, turn to him the other. You see that? So JC, your Jesus Christ idol, took the covenant and now twisted it. Covenants are no longer legally enforceable. A little red ink and those words disappear. Okay, covenants are no longer legally enforceable, right? With a little red ink, those words disappear because now we're believing what JC is saying. He's saying, don't resist the evil if somebody hits you, okay? Turn the other cheek and let him hit you on the other side, okay? You see that with a little red ink? Those words disappear. The covenant disappears. And this is the problem with this JC, this Jesus, Yahweh Shai character, okay? Which was created by the Romans to take us away 
from our covenant. It's time to wake up. I'm so sorry to bother you, ma'am. But today's my first day. I'm looking for directions to- Kitchen's on the third floor. Past accounting. Can't miss it. Now, another situation where the brother was going for a job interview and he met another brother and the other brother said to him, yo, I heard those white folks up in Compton are evil. My family and I are in East Compton. Oh, baby, careful up there for real. Evil, right? Which reminded me of another TV show that I will be breaking down soon called The Underground Railroad, where the brother was reading from this book about how, you know, giants like Goliath, you know, they're more bigger and powerful, and basically they would be more evil. Giants like Goliath, and I want to count them being bigger and more powerful. Must also be more evil. Right? And then the sister that he's talking to, she says, like white men. They must also be more evil and more cruel. Like white men. White folks can be slave. White folks can be slave. Wow. Now it's funny because I just did a lesson, okay, called Giants, Dinosaurs, and Fallen Angels. And I make those connections, basically. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Also, in connection to another movie breakdown I did called Harriet, where, you know, she ran towards the tree and she was like, you know, my master is evil. Okay? You know he evil. My master is an evil man, Lord. You know he evil. <laughs> you know he evil. Right. These people are evil to do the things that they are doing to us and that they've been doing to us okay jeremiah chapter 11 verse 11 therefore thus saith yah behold i will bring evil upon them which they shall not be able to escape and though they shall cry unto me i would not hearken unto them So the father said he would bring this evil upon us. And we can clearly see today and through our history what this evil is and who is actually inflicting this evil. We've made deals with the devil before. We've made deals with the devil before. We can clearly see that. And the funny thing is, in connection to another movie I broke down called Us, okay, you had the little girl who was walking by and you had the so-called white man showing her this sign, which reads Jeremiah 11, verse 11. Same thing I just read, okay, which is to confirm to us this evil that would be brought upon us. He is that evil that is brought upon us. And it's very clear and prevalent in the world and in the news everywhere right now that we are dealing with this evil. It's clear. Anyways, if you would like this breakdown, hit the link in the description of this video. If you would like it on DVD, email me at gdasterprofit at gmail.com. Also, if you would like to see all my exclusive movie breakdowns or TV show breakdowns or even lessons, you can also rep my VIP section. On that note, I'm going to say peace and shalom. It's not what you know. It's what you can prove.